Hey guys, this is going to be a cube collection video. Um, yeah, so let's start with 3 by 3s I have, this is a YJ foot cube. Um, this is a Gu Hong white. Um, I have a Hanyan memory white. Uh, I have re-stickered it once. I have a white F2, a gray limited edition type F2, a cheap slick cube orange from eBay. I don't like it because the orange mesh meshes with the red and yeah, and the orange itself, and so it's it's really hard to tell the difference. I have a cube for you tile cube, a. 47 millimeter micro alpha cube that I really 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 like. It's a nice cube, um, just a little bit small for my one-handed. Um, this is a void cube, no idea what brand. I bought it off of eBay. Um, it's okay, it doesn't cut corners obviously, um, if you know anything about void cubes. Um, otherwise it's a nice cube. And this is a um, Gu Hong colored cube. Um, I really, really like it. It has kind of tight tensions, though. But other than that, it's pretty good. Um, sorry for the messy room. I have this bubbly cube. I don't even know what to call it. Um, got it from eBay. Two Rubik's brands. Another eBay one. It was $5. And then a Boy Scout cube. Uh, that's okay. It's not great, though. Um, let's see. Two by twos. This is my ghost hand, um, white. Um, this is an e-sheen. It is really bad, like ridiculously, horribly bad. Uh, let's go four by fours. Here's a QJ tiled uh, four by four. It's not very good. It doesn't cut corners whatsoever. This is an e-sheen. It's fast, but it locks up. A Crap load, so I don't use it. And here is my Maru, um, favorite 4x4. Still, I'm not very good at 4x4, but still, it's a great cube. 5x5, um, five five. this is a white uh, V cube 5. I have modded the corners. If you know anything about the 5x5, five five, I've sanded down the corners. Um, this is Tharst? Tharst? I, I don't know how to say his name. Um, Tristan from. Five awesome cubers. He's also has his own channel, obviously. But this is his cube. He lives in the same city as me, and um, it, when it didn't sell on eBay um, because the people couldn't pay the ninety dollars or whatever that it was going to sell for, I bought it from him um, uh, in person. We met. This is my V Cube Seven. Um, it has been re re stickered with Cube Smith tiles. But I bought it on eBay for like 30 bucks, so it's like the best deal ever. Um, this is a Mirror Blocks, uh, one of my favorite cubes. I love the way it shape shifts. Um, you solve it just like a 3x3. Three three. Um, let's see, hand is getting tired. Let's see, what else is? What else do I have? Um, here is a MF8 Mega Minx Type 1. Um, it pops a lot, and so I don't use it that often. I'm hoping to get a Type 2 soon. Um, yeah, here's a uh, QJ 2x2x3. Great cube. Had to lube it, but other than that, it's freaking amazing. Dang Ching. Sorry for the pronunciation. I'm really bad at it. Uh, crazy 2x2x3. Um, I have actually solved this and don't know how to solve it. Um, it's not that hard. It got stuck, and this middle piece was switched on both sides, and took me a while, and just kept messing with it, and it finally uh, ended up solving it. Um, land, land. I think it is super floppy cube, shape shifts. So great cube, love it. Fun to play with. Um, Q for you. Three by three by four. Cube for you, 3x3x5. Three by three by uh, cube for you, 3x3x7. Three by three by uh, 
let's get this back to normal. Um, I have my MF8 uh, square one. I really like this cube. It's fun to play with. Um, I don't know how to do square one though. I have algorithms for doing it, but I don't know how to do it by heart. Super square one, you can see I can't do it. Um, I mean, I can, but every time I try to do it, I mess up. Because um, you have to solve the two middle layers just like the top and bottom of a square one, and then you solve the top and bottom one just like a square one um, using the middle two as one layer like you were solving the square one. It's quite confusing, and I am too lazy to solve it. Um, QJ Scube, um, don't know how to solve it, want to learn soon, but it's a great cube, kind of has a bumpy feel, uh, but it does have ball bearings in it, so I imagine that's why it has a bumpy feeling. Um, let's see, I have a, sorry for my finger was in the way, QJ's Pyraminx, it's a nice Pyraminx, um, I'm not too good at Pyraminx, I average like 30 seconds. Really, really bad. Here is a Paramorphinx. Um, this is going to be hard to do one-handed. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully you guys know what a Paramorphinx is. I don't know how to solve it either. Yet again, I'm too lazy to go learn. I have too much to do right now, but it's a nice puzzle when I just dropped it. Um, see, this is my Ghost Hand Magic. I like it. Um, it came unstrung once. I had to restring it. It's not as good as it was before, but still, it's a great puzzle. Love solving it. Um, if I were to ever go to a competition, I think my two main events would be square one and three by three, because it's the only ones I'm quite good at. Um, my best is two seconds on the uh, magic, but still, not that great at it, but I really like to do it. Um, let's see. only other cubes I have is this crappy Square one, if you can hear that, that is, I don't know what it is, it's just a piece of crap. It was ordered from China when I was just beginning to cube, um, which really isn't that long ago, but still. My dad ordered it, and we didn't realize it was going to be dollar store quality, and so therefore it sucks. I don't use it, I keep it just because I do. Um, this is my Rubik's 360. I like it, it's okay. It's, I don't know how to per se solve it. I did solve it just by thrashing it around and whatever. It solved and I'm not messing it up again. Only other cube is this dollar store cube that, I don't know if you can see that, um, my finger's probably in the way from the camera, but it has that hole. Um, I wanted to see what type of cube it is and I broke a hole in it showing how crappy it is. It was a dollar plus one dollar shipping so it was a two dollar cube oh well um, yeah that is all of my puzzles um, I don't think I have any more I got a couple of stands and a crap load of stickers this is all my bag I have enough stickers to probably re-sticker every single one of my cubes I need to re-sticker my Maru 4x4 I, my white 5x5 five five, and my 6x6 six six that I did not mention but I meant to mention um, in um, I sent it to me, myself, and Pi to mod it it's costing me like $20 it's a pretty good deal uh, seeing as he's doing the whole thing well not the whole thing, I already half modded it um, but still he's doing it for me so I don't have to because I can't get the pins to stay in but that should be back soon hoping to get a bunch of cubes for my birthday so I'll probably make an update video showing you what I got for my birthday if I get anything. So thanks, guys. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, leave description, leave comments in the description bar below. And I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks.